Hi, welcome to the award-winning show, Abby's Corner. You see, Abby's on maternity leave, and I'm your new producer, Chelsea. Due to the effect this show had on our audience, it has been brought back by popular demand titled Reloaded, Her Story. Look, this show cannot be compared to any other. And being the best presenter in town, I was chosen. This show is the bomb. Ignore the fact that I threw my modesty out of the window. But if you don't blow your trumpet, who will? Anyway, remember the ladies at the park? I met them through my friend Tracy, who attends a dance class. You wouldn't believe what these ladies had to tell me. I laughed so hard that I almost choked on my sandwich. And I thought to myself, I had to bring this show back to my favorite audience, being you. So fasten your seatbelt and take a ride with me to only God knows where. But I assure you, this is going to be the best ride of your life. Now, come with me. Girl, I didn't want to make this my business, but somebody's going to make it their business. Huh. Mm -hmm. They are not married. They have been bedmates for seven years. Shacking up, you could call it. Whenever she brings up the issue of her being made an honorable woman, the tide turns on her. Mose and Femi are married. Femi is suave, smooth, and the epitome of perfection. He is every woman's dream. Handsome, successful, and rich. His problem? Femi no fisi fine girl come out face. Now with a wife like Omoze, better imagined than said. All these people will be discussed in this show. Any ideas? Oh, of course this is going to be very interesting. You bet.
I... God. <laughs> Nothing. I... You know the stairs in my house is... I slipped. Did you hit you again? Yeah. Yeah. For goodness sake, why are you covering up from here? I mean, is this marriage prescribed by a doctor or something? Nobody hit me, okay? I fell! So you see, some women call them wolves in sheep clothing. But come to think of it, who is an angel? Abby is with child, nursing and happy. Who, Tara? <laughs> Tara is too devastated by her last experience. But someone still has to tell this story. could do is say please. So if you want to get the drink, you either say the magic word or you go get it yourself. Bube, sorry, you should have told us now. We would have had the drink at my place. Yes. And that is supposed to make me feel bad. I mean, is it possible for me to have a decent conversation with um, Bube without any further interference, please? Wait a minute, you have no right to speak to my friends like that. Oh, excuse my manners. I'm very sorry. But please, doesn't cost a thing. Wait a minute. You disrespect me in front of my friends, you know that. Why do you have to talk to them now? You have no right! Okay, you made them feel uncomfortable. I didn't make anyone feel Yes, you did. So why did they leave? Why did they have to go? You drove them away. I didn't drive them away. They left out of their own volition. No, it's called you created a bloody scene out there. I don't recall creating a scene. You're just trying to blow things out of proportion. Okay, all I ask for is a little respect. And now you're saying I'm creating a scene? What is wrong with you? What, what has come over you so suddenly? Nothing. So what is all this? What, what is this thing? You just look for fights, you find faults, you look for arguments. What has come over you? Tell me what's wrong. I am tired of you taking me for granted, okay? What? Yes, I am tired of staying here with you and you having no desire of making an honorable woman out of me. I do the same thing every day, every month, every year. I cook for you, clean, run errands for you, fuck you, and at the same time, you don't want to make me your wife. Of course I'm mad as hell. Is that what this is about? Yes, that's what, what this is about. about. Wait a minute, listen. Life is not about beginning and ending with marrying you. Oh, that. really? So we better start talking right now. So what are we doing? Where is this headed? We've been cutting for seven years. I mean, is it no time you tell me if I'm the one or not? You're, you're the one. You know you're the one. I want to get married to you. Oh, really? Okay? Except I don't have the kind of money to give you a lavish wedding, you know, a huge bridal party Lube. and all of Lube. that. Lube. Come on, Lube. I want to give you something you deserve. Lube. This will suffice, okay? I mean, how many people actually wait for their bank account to be overflowing before they do anything? How many people? That's what you're saying now. Later on, you'll be singing a different tune. You know the problem? You don't really understand the dilemma I am in. I mean, I am the first child in my family. My younger sister is getting married. We've dated it for too long. What do you mean? I agree, okay? We've been dating for seven years. Okay. I totally agree, but we need to do it when the time is right. We need to wait for God's time. Oh, yeah. We, God is actually going to come down from heaven and set a date for us, right? It's going to be soon, all right? Real soon. You know, I've heard that over and over again. You keep saying the same thing, all right? Are you really sure? I'm sure. Is it? Wait a minute. Listen. You need to trust me on this. I trust you. I mean, I trust you. That's why I believe anything you tell me. 
I, I don't want to sound like I'm pushing things, but it's okay. I don't want to lose you. And now I'm here for the show, and you're in London with the baby. <laughs> you're crazy. Uh, <laughs> Abby, Abby, listen, listen. I am stuck. I need you to help me make up my mind about... Yeah, about... Uh-huh. The present... You think Tracy should take your place? You sure she can face the camera? Oh, okay. All right, I, I believe she can do it because, I mean, she was involved in the last show, so I'm sure she'll have her ideas. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll fix up a meeting with her and I'll get back to you about it. Yeah. All right, girl. My love to the little one. And listen, Abby, you have a good man. Don't ever forget that. Okay. <laughs> That's my girl. Sure thing. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll get back to you, all right? Uh, all right, I'll feed you in. Okay. Bye. Hi, darling. Hi. You're uh, you awake, but you're asleep. Oh. Uh, there you go. Why are you so sweet? Because you're the sweetest thing. And I'll do just anything for you. Name it, and it's yours. Well, in that case, no more breakfast in bed because I'm on diet. But I'll eat this one for love. I love you too, baby. what you wanted to have for dinner um nothing really nothing listen i'm i'll be coming home late tonight okay because um i'll be having a meeting with uh, members of the board and then um <clears throat> i'll be definitely having dinner with them too so uh, don't worry about me i'll be fine okay mm. okay then i won't wait up for you all right then all right okay. see you later tonight then all right bye bye Gabriel, Ma follow that car. Driving here with my husband. 
this time to this hotel with my husband. And you have the effort to open your dirty mouth and give me attitude? Yes. In this hotel at this time. Listen, my dear. If I ever see you again, read my lips, ever catch you in this kind of situation with my husband, you will leave to regret the day that you met Femi, Wellington. Trump. Cousin, and how come you didn't introduce me? What kind of stupid question is that? Huh? Didn't you hear me telling her to, to tell about my mother that I'm gonna come there tomorrow? Please. Didn't you? Hey, wait, wait, don't use that tone with me, okay? I just asked a simple question. Okay, because I won't take that rubbish from you. What would you take? That's all you do, you just argue and you nag about the house. Oh, is that supposed to be an explanation? I come in here and I see a strange woman, I don't expect me to ask questions. You know, I really hate it when you try to question my fidelity. You know that? I stay in this house, you go to work, you come back, and all you do is argue. I'm tired, I'm tired, totally tired. You're tired? Oh, really? Maybe by the time you get your sorry ass up and go look for a job, you won't be so tired. Who the hell do you think you are? And what has this to do with what we're talking about? And how dare you tell me that I am lazy? Is this what this has come to? That you insult my manhood? No, I am sorry. I didn't mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean to come to Yes, you did! You easily played me down! Who do you think you are? I keep you in this house, I stay with you, you go to work, and all you try to do is just emasculate me? Who are you? Baby. I'm sorry. You know, I I, 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 I come back and I see a stream. Why do you expect me to react? Sorry, I didn't mean I didn't mean to say the things that I said. I'm, I'm very sorry. Alright, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna like you. I... Baby, I'm sorry. I know I said the wrong thing. I shouldn't have said what I said. I know I know I'm please. Don't let us act you, okay? I'm tired of fighting, right? I'm really I'll meet up with the girls for some chit chat. Why are you asking like you don't know? Dressed like this? How am I dressed? Like this. Are you going on a date? <laughs> Tayo. Oh, Tayo, you try so hard. But I'm glad. At least I got you off the streets. Please, Osi, don't be ridiculous. How could I possibly go for a date in a spa? Anyways, for your information, I am a married woman. A very happy one at that. To a very wonderful man. <laughs> Tell me. How do I look? 
as loose as usual. What? A very, very cheap hoe. That's what. What's it done? You know, you need a stylist to show you how married women dress. Do you need a soothsayer to tell you this? Oh God. Oh my God. How did I end with this? How did I end with this? Oh my God. Oh God. How did I end with this? Look, there's no point trying to make an effort with your appearance because you will always look the same. and psychological torture. Osita abuses Tayo emotionally, physically and psychologically. God! Me thinks girlfriend is due for divine intervention, honestly. What was all that about? What was all what about? Hmm? When you go around running like a mad dog, are you alright? Femi, you completely disrespect me. I cannot take this anymore. I can't. Amosa, you know, you could actually win an award for being the best nag and tout. Have you ever thought of contesting? How can you be so heartless? What you can do is apologize, Femi. Say you're sorry for once in your life. Sorry? Sorry, what for? You want me to apologize to you? What the hell for? That stupid behavior of yours should put me in an apologetic mode. Is that what you're saying? Good Lord, you sure freak me out this woman. You sure do. How can you pause? You call that behavior of yours that of a respectable married woman? I really can see how yours is respectable. This, I, I will not take this anymore, Femi. I won't take it anymore. I'm sure you sure wish you had me clamped. But it won't happen. Get a grip on yourself. Don't stop fooling around. You sure won't make me look stupid. Femi, we were talking. Femi, you can't walk out on me. I said we were talking. to be handling it quite well. Let's just hope Hurricane Katrina. Or should I say Hurricane Omoze doesn't take them both out? <laughs> but then I can't say I blame her. Osito is nothing 
but a complete disaster. It's just a facade. And to think of the fact that before I got married, when I was a single girl, all my family could think of was when and how I was going to get married. And when I eventually got married, what happened? I became his punching bag. He just, he just takes delight in just making me miserable every time. So sorry, Tom. Really sorry. You know, when Femi and I got married, marriage was like heaven. It was the best thing I could ever ask for. But before I knew it, he brought his philandry ways into our bedroom. He had total disregard for our marriage and my person. How else was I going to, you know, handle it? I became his nightmare. Since he likes okra, I have become his weapon. <laughs> Oh, Moze, honestly, I wish, I wish I had your kind of quarter, I mean, a quarter of it. I wish I could just do something on my own. But for where? If I try it, of course you know now, you'll just kill me. But this is really getting serious. You both have to see a marriage counselor. Huh? Better still go to the church, whichever one you prefer. Oh, Sita, does that one seem to you like someone who's ready to remedy the relationship? Hell no. As far as it's concerned, this relationship is beyond redemption. The irony of it all is that I can't just leave with no money, no job of my own. Where do I start from? I'm, I'm just, I'm just stuck in this whole thing for as as long as God is going to. I, I mean, that's I, where you got it all wrong, Tayo. You need to get yourself financially empowered. If not, he'll keep treating you like nothing. You can't go on like this. You can't depend on him for everything. As if I have not tried. What have I not said? The few times I have tried to bring up the discussion, do you know what he tells me? I have no money. Oh, I am involved in one project or the other. And yet, before you know what is happening, there is a new car. And or a, a new toy. And yes, his PlayStation. You better look for a way out. You need to call in favors. Empower yourself financially. You can't go on like that. You know, you always have a way of making me feel better with my situation. Uh, I'll think of something. Better. I'll What the heck? I mean, let me get a glass of red wine. I should learn to loosen up a little bit, don't you think? I'm not in the mood for a bottle. <laughs> What exactly is wrong with me? Nothing you can't handle in nine months. Sorry? You're going to be a mother. What? You're pregnant. You are what? I'm pregnant. I'm having a baby for us. No. No. This can't be. This is not can't possible. Be. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate? Yes. Wait, I tell you that we're having a baby and you say it's unfortunate. Well, I meant the timing. The timing is not right for me. For you? For us. Just listen to yourself. Why are you so selfish? The timing is not right for you, okay? So why didn't you think about that when you were busy having unprotected sex? Will you calm down? You want the neighbors to I care? I don't care! You have to care because we must do the right thing. And what is the right thing? You know the right thing. We're not ready for this responsibility. Definitely not out of wedlock. We can't have this child. No. No. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I've been under the knife five times for you. Five times, baby. So you do the right thing, and this child will be born in wedlock. Okay. I'm sorry. All right? I'm sorry. But just think straight. We can't have this child. Do the right thing. Baby, I want this child. 
Okay, please, please, I beg you. Let me keep this one. Let me just keep him. I want him. Wait a minute. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Why can't we? I mean, why? Why can't we? Because I'm in between jobs. All right? This child needs the best of care, and we don't have the resources to do that. We're going to do just fine. I, I mean, I have a good job. Okay, fine. I will do just fine. Is that what you want? You want to be a single mother? A single parent? But that's what you end up being if you keep insisting we have this child. We could get married. And be resentful for the rest of our lives? Is that what you want? Well, I don't want that. Come on, baby. We can get married. All right? But not pressure born. We can get married, definitely. Not because I want a wanted pregnancy. Please, think straight. Terminate this. No, I'm not going to do that. Friend, you've shown him you were white material. What is delay in the ring? I, I think it's time you stop to think about the other woman in his life that he claims no mean a thing. No, whoever said that a woman. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll get ready to make you an honorable woman. Just the way you wanted it. I'll marry you. Hello, darling. Hey. You're welcome. Uh, how was work? Fine. Okay. What's for dinner? Um, fufu and ekusi soup. This time. You would really encourage that, wouldn't you? Oh, I forgot. It's you. Oh, but I thought it was your best meal. Exactly! And the phrase being used to be. Until I found out it was adding extra inches to my waistline. Just like yours. look for the slightest opportunity to to make me feel bad what have i done to deserve it what, what have i done to deserve this are you, are you talking back at me eh? all i have ever done is try to be a good wife how old do i get this is the slightest opportunity you get to reduce me to nothing. Now you listen to me. I married you, okay? And when I say I don't want Fufu, it means I don't want Fufu. Do you understand that? Excuse me. Now, if some people could learn how to use the bees and the gills. Just a, a little bit of appreciation, something like a thank you, something like a please. That would do me a whole lot of good. So I should say thank you to what is rightfully your duty. Did I get you for free? Did I know? Huh? I paid your goddamn bright price. I paid. What is it you want from me? I, I am done. I'm done from here. If this is what marriage to you is all about, then I want to be single. I can't take this anymore. I have had it up to here. I am done with this. I'm done. 
Madam, I am I'm not too sure. What do you mean you don't know? Or you don't think so? Follow the I'm car now. Madam, I'm oh, you don't want to tell me who it is, right? Yes, yes. Will you follow that car? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Hello? Yes? Is this Mr. Femi Wellington's car? Yeah? So who are you? I beg your pardon. How can you walk up to me and ask me who I am? I'm very sorry, madam. All I wanted was for you to answer nicely. But for some funny reason, you seem to be in a mood. Excuse me? Have I met you from somewhere? You should have met me a long time ago. I am Mrs. Wellington, Femi's wife. <laughs> so, my dear, who are you? I, I, I am his colleague in the office. We work together. <laughs> Cozy colleague? You even get to drive his car. Come on, give me the car keys. Gabriel! Madam. Come and collect khakis for me. Give me this. Give me. Give me no. Collect it. Yes. Collect it. Fuck it. Collect it. Give me no. Collect it. Who oh, shot into the car? Give me Who shot into this car? Give me no. Who shot? 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 He only sent me to come and make arrangements for our guests. There, there was no driver. Please, Gabriel, driver, please. Drive please. Mother, where are you taking me to? I've told you I was only helping out in the office. Perhaps <laughs> you don't have to drive me to. No, please. What kind Madam, of office please. allows a woman please. like you Madam, to please. drive the MDG? Please, please. Madam, please. Madam, please. Madam, please. What kind of woman? What kind of woman? Please, please. Are you? I'm not having money to give us I'm not having money to do with, with, with your husband, with your husband. You even call him by name. Please. To shame. No, by the time I am no, not. Please, no. Yeah. Maybe I'm not sure. No. Come, I but know. save your money. I'm but not sure. You shall be the last. Huh? Your name. Save your money. I'm saying you. At the time you say it. Please. He will be the last. Madam, drive this car! Yes, drive this car! Yes, drive this car! What do you do with her? Shit! It's all shit! Please, 
Amazing. What is this? Huh? How dare you? Tell me. How dare you? Huh? How do you kidnap my stuff and keep a hostage in the house? My stuff, my food. Night is shining now. Save her. So, you want to keep me, Femi, on a leash? It won't happen. Not in this life or any to come. Do you understand me? I have told you. Time without number. I am not a dog. You cannot make me do what I do not want to do. Is that so? It is so. Then listen to me. You are in this marriage. Bound by vows and an oath that you and I took before God. I will protect it with my blood. And if I'm going astray or something? And if I seem extreme, you will help me. Then you leave me no choice. I will leave this hellhole you call marriage any moment from now. Femi. You are pushing me too far. And I will sit and watch you? You should be glad I married you. I married you! And I Get you off from the gutter. When you had nothing, I stood by you. I will not sit back and watch the wolves take my land from me. Oh, my man. And if you cannot discipline yourself and control your insatiable libido, I will control it for you. Relax. 
I'm really freaking out. I, I don't think I can do it. Relax, calm down. I'm really nervous about this. <laughs> Your personality will certainly see you through. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, you'll do Come. I can do this. Five, four, three, two, one. And action. Welcome to GMP Reloaded. It's amazing that I had to take a bit place for now. I don't want to bore you with what they did to get me here. But I'm new at this, so just relax. We are going to do this together, okay? Hang in there for me. I'm going to be your presenter. My name is Tracy Kotsi, my friend, Chelsea. The topic of today's show is when is cheating? Cheating? Some dictionary define cheating as unfaithfulness, having sexual relationship with anyone other than your regular sexual partner. That and many more. Now, if that is the fact, it means that cheating only takes place in bed, isn't it? I don't think so. You see, women, we have needs to talk communicate. So do men. And when you have this need, who do you turn to? Your spouse, your partner, it could be your best friend of an opposite sex. But when is cheating? Cheating. So I was on the street. I spoke to lots of women and men. And it all came down to one thing and one thing only. That quality time now spent with partner is indeed cheating. Now, if I base my findings on this, that means everyone cheats. Oh yes, do we all cheat? And then how do you deal with cheating? We are you know, human beings, we have different ways of dealing with issues. And of course cheating. I personally, I chose the virtuous woman in the Bible. It really worked for me, so I will recommend it anytime you need it. I'm not just saying because it worked for me that it might work for you, but that's what I will recommend. Virtuous woman, my hero. You see, a, a, a topic as big as this cannot end one day. So I'm just going to pause there, relax, and um, wait for your meals. Okay, so I will read the meals next week. I know what your thoughts are, but when it comes to cheating, you have to deal with cheating your own way. Till I come your way next week, my name remains Tracy. Bye for now. Cut. I did it. <laughs> that was brilliant. I told you, see? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Steven, Steven. Listen, I told you, we can't even afford a copper, let alone an IT staff. We're overstaffed as it is already. I know, but this girl said she has nowhere to go. Besides, she said she is ready to work without a salary. All she needs is some place to work in. She's ready to work without a salary. How is that possible? Hmm? Or is this something you're not telling me? <laughs> hmm? No! Oh. No! That's what she said. At least hear her out. I feel for her. Okay, okay. If that's gonna let you get off my back, okay. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Oh. Can I use your intercom to call her? For sure. Oh. Mary. Can you please tell the girl in the reception to come in? I don't know why Thank you guys are putting me in this spot. I just don't know. I told you we were stuck. Okay? Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Speak. I just want a place where I can get a bit of training as this is a year for my IT. Yes. 
What's your name? Mira. So. That's okay. My name is Steven. This is Mr. Osita. You can call me Osita. Hmm. You say work without pay, huh? Why don't you leave your details with my secretary? And we'll consider your proposition. And, um, we'll probably get back to you. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Hello baby, hi, how are you doing? What do you mean, where am I? I'm in the car driving, that's where I am. And no, no one is with me. Okay? Would you stop being silly? Omaze, why are you calling? I said, for the... For the love of God, I am driving. You know what? Look, 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 listen. I, I, I cannot afford the, the road safety to apprehend me all because I'm talking on the phone to you, okay? What? You're traveling? When? Today? Wow, that's good. I'm sorry, I mean, um, no, no, um, why? Ah, I see. Your mom, she's um, she's sick. Wow, well, that's um, that's. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's really bad. I'm sorry to hear that. All right then. I, I wish you a safe trip. I wish you a safe journey. Yeah. Oh no, no no. Never mind. I'll manage. I'll be fine. All right then. Bye. Yes. Hey Linda, hi. What's up? How are you doing? Listen, um, what do you think about you and I having dinner later on tonight? This evening? Huh? <laughs> God, I knew you were just gonna love it. <laughs> no, 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 mine, mine. Never worry about that. Don't worry about that. She's um, she's not around. She's out. She's out of town right now. My wife, yeah. Okay then. All right. Okie dokie. Listen. Um, I'll pick you up after work. Good. Good. See you later on. Well, I don't buy it. Yeah. Girl, you deserve a man who treats you like a real woman, but your man don't know. Okay, stop calling me, sir. We use first names here. Okay, Osita. Very good. How is he coming? Very well. If you have any problems, don't hesitate. We'll do just that, sir. Osita. Good. Uh, don't mind him. He's 
doesn't he doesn't understand English very well. That's the problem. He meant the guy that went for a walk, you know. But I'll send him to school. Look at you. You're good as usual. You know, Let me I help had you with fun. that. You had fun? Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you did. I had fun too. Okay, I mean, I think I need to go home now. Oh no, please don't start. Come on, spend the night. I can't, I need to get home. Please. Hey, listen, you can't. You know why? Tell see what I got in store for you. Oh yeah, what do you have in store for me? Let me show it to you. What's wrong? Oh no. What's wrong? Hold on, shit. My wife, she's back. Why? I thought she said she traveled. Yeah, I thought she traveled. She told me she was traveling, but now she's back. I don't know why. But you have to leave now. Holy shit. wrong with you? Uh, oh man, nothing is wrong with me. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't be any better. Your shirt. My shirt, oh, okay. Um, I, I was kind of hot when I got it. Did I? Yeah, I took it off because I was hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot. Yeah. Fame. What? Fame, it was going on in our house. Nothing, nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. Fame, it was happening in our house. Where are you going? I'm not in. This is the problem I always have with you women. Huh? What I'm making just to keep love in this family, you twat it. You twat it. That's what you do. You twat it. Ah, Femi, I don't trust you. This is why I'm so tired of you. Yes. Oh, you want to go check the house now, eh? Touch everywhere. The kitchen, the cupboard, everything. Huh? Oh. Yeah, so everything you can. Um, fine. Uh, search you up. Aha. Where have you have you started the toilet sank? Huh? The cupboard! Uh, let me give you an idea. You saw it, you saw it, Uh, Don't forget, you can search the, uh, um, the top of the window. Huh? Yes, yes. Have you found anything? Documents. Do you find anything? The toilet sack, you find something. Yes. Tell me. What did you find? What? Yes! Oh, Check the sink. The sink. Rats. Mice. Which one? Cockroach? You know ah. I don't trust you. What? I don't trust you. You don't trust me? We men we just we suffer, we toil. Huh? And then you women just come and then spoil everything. Why? I'm trying to be a good man in this house. And and all I get is a... Uh... Oh, God. I don't know how to make you happy again in this house. I'm sorry for what has happened, okay? And I promise I will make it up to you. It's all right. I mean, I promise that as soon as I can just... I understand. It's all right. I knew you understand. Thanks. And, uh... Um... I'll take care of everything. Everything. Okay? Did I 
telling you. <sighs> Look, my dear. It's not as if I would not love to be massaged. Yeah. Well, after the massage, now where do I take the well massaged body to? Must you always do something for a man? How about doing something for yourself? Oh. Yeah. That is what you always say when you want to sell. The minute I get hooked, now all my life savings will go on in my souls. Mm. <laughs> that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Jose, you actually get some quiet a reputation. I heard you recently kidnapped the girl you thought was family's <laughs> girlfriend and gave her the beating of her life. Uh, <laughs> I did no such thing. Where did you, where did you hear all these kind of stories from? Uh, Stop listening to jobless people. Oh my goodness. What? Sweet. <laughs> did you actually do that? No such thing. Hey, 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 hey. It should be told there's no smoke without fire. I never did anything that dramatic. Funny enough, I envy you. Oh. Seriously. You know, I wish I could have the guts to do half of the things you do. Osita behaves like a complete beast and just walks away with it. Sorry. Anyway, I am sure that one day I will get my own pound of flesh. Vengeance is of the lot, my dear. No, no, no. Not when your name is Osita. Oh, come on, babes. Osita can't be that bad. Osita is bad. No. What am I talking about? She is worse. Yeah, okay, oh. worse. You know what, right? There's no such thing as a perfect man. It's just like there's no such thing as a perfect woman. So, that's what are we reason. talking about here? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Want to drink to that? You probably don't know what you guys are talking about. If you were in my shoes, oh, please. Trust Let's me. Just drink to it to it 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 even. What are we talking about? <laughs> Relax, okay? Cheers, <laughs> Mega, listen. I'm truly sorry about what happened the other day, okay? Now, my wife can get nasty sometimes, but I'm sorry. You hear me? Um, I think you should leave me alone. I can't continue with this anymore. I cherish you. Who wouldn't anyway? But I don't think I can go on like this. Nika, I think you are overreacting. Overreacting? Yes. What do you mean by that? You know your wife can be totally out of this world. I can't. I just can't fail me. I mean, you should have warned me. You should have. Listen. Listen. My wife, she's not usually like that. You know, maybe it's just one of those days she got into a bad temperament, you know, those mood swings of hers. But when she gets to know her. Get to know her. Are you for real? You know, you know what? Let's just forget I said that, okay? Why don't we just forget about my wife at this moment and enjoy our meal? Hmm? Is that acceptable? I'm very sorry about the last time, man. I wish we were in a relaxed environment like this. It's never going to happen again. Well, okay, right? talk, talking about relaxed atmosphere, I think this place is an embodiment of God's goodness. God's goodness? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, look around and see if there's no God. Bless God for His goodness. See my girls, Bube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, hey, my wife is everything you can ever want in a woman, you know. She, she is a true embodiment of servitude, that's the right word. You know, she does all the house chores, no complaint, and she gives it to me whenever I want it. <laughs> Even though we fight sometimes, we irritate ourselves. No, no, no. 
she mm. is the true definition of a wife. Uh, yes, she is. True definition of a wife? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Bube, um, what is your true definition of a wife? You don't know? No. Wife, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. W is for washing. I know that. I is for ironing. I know that. And F is for. And E, etc. Et et <laughs> You're the man for the job, man. Bobby, I'm really worried about you now. About Honestly. You. Hey, what are you still doing here? Working on the report. You are supposed to work on that report tomorrow. Never mind, it's almost done. Oh, huh. good. Would you like to ride home? I don't think you would do like Hey, 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 come on, let that be my call. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'll take you anywhere you want to go to. Hey, why don't we have a drink together? I don't think that's a wise idea. Oh, come on now. Why would you question the wisdom of that? Like drinks, getting to know each other better. Isn't that what it's called? Um... Hey, okay. come on. Relax. Lucida, I don't stay out late. Really? Oh, yeah. That makes two of us? <laughs> come <I'm> serious. <laughs> don't worry, I'll take you back home on time. Because I won't have you coming in late in the morning. I'm still the boss here. Okay. It's my business, but somebody's gonna make it their business. Huh. I'm so mad, I'm spitting nails. Your man 